During the weekend of 16 to 17 October, Chinese hackers went on something of a rampage that saw all but three of the 15 target products breached during the exploit onslaught that was the Tianfu Cup. This annual competition, held in the Sichuan province of Chengdu, has been the go-to for China's elite hackers since they were banned from participating in similar competitive hacking events outside of the country. The biggest and best known of these, Pwn2 Pwn, is due to take place in Austin, Texas, 2 to 5 November, and I will be reporting on that next weekend when the results are known. In the meantime, what of the massive Tianfu Cup cybersecurity onslaught? Well, I've already reported how the iPhone 13 Pro, running a fully patched, at the time, version of iOS 15. 0. 2. Was breached not once but twice. The zero-day vulnerabilities, exploited by the Kunlun Lab and Team Peng in a matter of seconds on the day, saw a remote code execution attack and the first iOS 15 jailbreak. As well as the attacks on Apple iOS and Safari, there were a whole host of other victims. These included Microsoft, which saw five successful exploits involving the Windows 10 operating system, one impacting Microsoft Exchange, and Google, which saw Chrome succumb wise. But the list is far from over. Adobe PDF, the Asus AX56U router, Docker CE, Parallels VM, Chemo VM, Ubuntu 20, VMware SE and Workstation were also successfully hacked. Full details of the vulnerabilities exploited and the exploits themselves will filter into the public domain in the coming months. Meanwhile, full disclosure of the security flaws would have been immediately made to all the affected vendors. The first thing to note is the in-group, out-group divide here, says Sam Curry, the chief security officer at Cyber Reason. Curry sees the Tianfu Cup, with the months of preparation that lead up to the almost theatrical long stage reveal as a show of force.